Serving all of San Diego, this is your Fox 5 News. All righty, coming up, avoid pitfalls of online dating. Coming, I like the music. Coming up next, five questions to weed out the bad and the red flags that mean you're just wasting your time. Oh, man. I know a lot of you have been waiting for this segment. Are you looking for a romance <laughs> through your computer screen? Well, cyber dating expert Julie Spira joins us now with tips on how to safely navigate the online world for love. Hi, Julie. Hello there. Well, let's just get right to it. What's the golden rule of cyber dating? I think it really comes down to the authenticity of that online dating profile. It's that first glimpse that people get of you, and if you don't have a fabulous shot and you're smart, Smiling and you're, it's just you. It's not you and your dog and your neighbors and your ex boyfriend. You might have a better chance of getting selected. <laughs> okay, and like you said, authentic. And, and when you say, if you say something along the lines of you're a doctor, it should mean you have a medical doctor degree and not the fact your buddies call you doctor. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so be real about it, be truthful, be honest. Right, and, and what happens is everybody tries to put their best foot forward and then they go, gee, it's really competitive out there. There's millions and millions of people that I'm in competition with. So they tend to fudge the truth, typically about their weight or their age. That their, doesn't work. Their hair, if they don't have any, there's a baseball cap on. <laughs> <laughs> How do you know so much? Well, I think I've, I, I know a lot after 250 dates and 15 years on again, off again. I started online dating in 1994. So how's that working out for you now? Um, I am online right now, that, that is true. I did receive four marriage proposals in the course of uh, my online dating career. My goodness. Well, let's get to it. I mean, you know the deal. Let, let, let's start with the red flags. What are the red flags? When, when you're perusing kind of the match.com or onlinebootycall.com or chemistry.com, j.com, whatever, how do, what are the red flags? to look for? Well, I think the red flags really come within the communication. When somebody writes a profile and it's very, very long, you, you need to be concerned about that. But if you're only getting asked out um, during the week, no weekends, or only Friday and not Saturday and only Saturday and not Friday, that's a problem. Why? That's a red flag. There's somebody else. Okay. They're, they're fooling around. He's or if they don't take you out on uh, a holiday and you miss every holiday, or special vacations, uh -huh. you're not the only one. What if he doesn't pick up his, his phone? Right, that, that's another one that's happened to me where every single phone call goes to a voicemail and then the phone calls are returned back. If your phone calls are going to voicemail, there's something to hide. Interesting. What do you think about um, texting? Oh, Is that a red flag? A big red flag. It depends. The younger kids love to text. I'm not the biggest fan of texting. I do not think you should text someone to go out to ask them out on a date. I think it's just a... I don't think so either. Not good. Okay, questions not to ask. Let's say you find somebody on the profile. Here is the no, you don't go here. Absolutely. Questions not to ask. <laughs> How many times have you been married? Why can't you ask that? You'll find out eventually, but it's basically, it's a judgment thing. And let's say in my particular case, I've been married more than once, and I'm a little self-conscious about it, and I don't want to feel like I'm in a deposition. Okay, so you feel like mm, they might be judging you before they it's even judging know the you situation. beforehand. You'll find out eventually if you continue to date them. Okay, um, when did you get divorced? Now you don't ask that one. You can find that out on your own. But the question is, is when somebody says to me, "When exactly did you get divorced?" Again, I feel like I'm in the middle of a background check. I was going to so, say, oh, excuse, excuse me for interrupting. You said you can find that out on your own. You can, can find you it on your own. Can you do that background check? Is this what we're talking about? Yes, yes, yes. Ah, they yeah, are, do the background I check. <laughs> People are Googling uh, potential dates and they're actually doing background checks after maybe two or three dates with someone just before they want to get too close, they want to find out. Okay, how do you do a background check on someone? Just out of curiosity, uh, <laughs> just so <laughs> Arthel can know. Okay, here we go. The, the simplest way, of course, is to Google someone and then don't tell them that you're doing it. It's, it's not a good idea to tell okay. them. Okay. Then after that, uh, it's a question of you can check county Records, records, you yeah. know, the, uh, the county, uh, the, the law records, the legal records, they're public records. So you can check up on anyone on the LASuperiorCourt.org, or I'm sure in San Diego they have the same thing, and you may see a whole string of lawsuits. And, ooh, and you, you recommend know. that? You recommend doing that? Not before a first date, but after you've been dating somebody for a, a certain period of time, you just might want to make sure that they're credit worthy or that they're interesting and then do you eventually tell them that you did that do you disclose that information along the lines no 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 
Okay, I'm going to say need yes. To, need to know basis. Okay. Need to know basis. But there are, there are different companies now. One is called Honesty Online, and they actually will give you a credential to say that you've been verified and you are who you say you are. Well, what is that called again? Honestyonline.com. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Um, don't ask when did your last relationship end and how long was your last online relationship. Just don't get into it. Just don't get into it. Somebody once asked me, said, well, have you ever had a long-term relationship from this dating site and how long was it? It was just very uncomfortable. Okay. I think it's easier to talk to somebody about where was your last vacation? What do you like to do on the weekends? Do you have a favorite sports team? And Keep just, it light. And just, we're going we're gonna to wrap it up now, but just out of safety, first dates always somewhere else, you know, don't pick up at the house, you know, tell your friends where you are kind of thing, Exactly, right? and I always have a buddy system where if somebody, if I'm going on a date, I tell a girl from where I'm going and I call, I take a little restroom break and I say, hi, I'm okay. Oh, good. Okay, well, the book is called The Perils of Cyber Dating Confessions of a Hopeful Romantic Looking for Love Online.